In this section, we'll talk about the machine's safety circuit. It's likely you were sent here by tech support for one of two reasons. You don't have power going to the clutch, or when you engage your PTO switch, your engine stalls immediately. Both of those are symptoms that there's a problem in the safety circuit. The first thing we need to establish is, is there power to the actual clutch? So what we want to do there is unplug the clutch and on the main wire harness we want to set our meter again to DC volts and at that wire harness we want to plug both ends. Now we can't cheat and go to ground a battery or something. We have to use both. Plug both ends in. Make sure someone is seated in the, the seat so the safety circuit is made. And activate the PTO switch up and down to see if we actually have power directly at the clutch. If there's an absence of that power, we need to find the schematic for your mower. It's important to have the schematic. And at that time, we will start to study what's involved uh, with uh, that particular mower. You can see here is the clutch switch. And in this case, it runs through the deck switch and the seat switch up here, and so on and so forth. Now, there are a lot of variations of those sorts of diagrams and <clears throat> so some of them are a little easier to read than others I like this type personally it shows pictures the key switch the PTO switch we see here this is some kind of a safety switch another safety switch so on and so forth and it helps you to better maybe identify there's your seat switch once we've identified what to look for we need to check those switches. I have an image here of all the things that basically need to be looked at. Normally the biggest culprit is a seat switch. So we we'll want to make sure that that seat switch is actually uh, working. And you have to be seated in the mower to pull the PTO switch. Uh, clutches are a safety item so basically on every lawnmower uh, they run through a series of switches to make sure everything is safe. Uh, this would be the seat switch. This would be a typical switch found in the steering. Uh, this is, uh, of course, the PTO switch. This is another steering or brake switch, right? The parking brake. Of course, this is the key switch. And this is a reverse switch. Some mowers, when you put them in reverse, it knocks the, it, it stops the, uh, the, the clutch. All of these are culprits. So what we'll basically do to check those switches, we'll take our, our meter again, and we're gonna set that to resistance, ohms. Once we've done that, and we take, as an example, one that you could probably see real well, we'll put our probes to unplug it, put our probes to both, and then manually actuate the switch to see whether the actual switch is good. We'll also want to take a look for corrosion and often adjustments. The switches will loosen up and back away from its intended place. And uh, of course, then it's not made and the circuit stops at that switch, stopping, of course, the lawnmower clutch from being able to work. So that's a little bit about safety circuits. They're a little tricky. Um, in a lot of cases, I would like to just look around the lawnmower, look for these types of switches, check the connections, check the adjustments on them, maybe clean the connectors, uh, and again, start with the seat switch. That's a, a pretty common culprit. Well, hopefully that helps. A little bit about safety circuits. Thank you.